Hey guys, welcome to another Oracle of the Day. We're going to get into the energy here. This feels like a high vibe reading, so I'm excited to get into it. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I think I'm going to go to the archetype um, Oracle deck first and get some general energies here. It feels, uh, the energy feels like a high vibe message. Okay, um, it feels angelic, like the angelic frequencies are reaching out uh, in this particular reading here. So I'm going to take the top card, well, this card here. Is there another one here? Yeah, this one. Okay, that's what I thought. We have the judge. Okay. All right, we're going to take from the bottom the underworld. Ooh. Wow, this is deep, y'all. Okay, let's cut it in half. And we have the gem. Oh, this is beautiful, you guys. Wow. So, lots of deep work here. Um, it's like through all the muck. I literally am seeing someone digging through a swamp. Digging through very dense energies, um, shadow work. Um, really, I'm feeling a lot of self-criticism. Um, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of judgment and criticism from others. Um, I'm feeling really hurt. And I'm seeing my own toxicity kind of bubbling to the surface. Uh, a lot of you guys have literally walked through your own personal hell. Um, and what's happening is the gym is you. Okay. This is you. This is you emerging out of your own personal hellscape. Okay. As the gym, um, going in as a lump of coal, if you will, and emerging as the gym, you have found what's most important within yourself and uh, what's most precious, um, what matters. For many of you, you're pivoting on your values. You're pivoting on what's most important. Um, I'm seeing like a changing of viewpoint, a changing of perspective. Um, I feel like there is a wisdom about how you see life now. I feel a lot of healing coming through, um, particularly at this moment. I feel like a lot of you um, have consciously chosen to heal. You've chosen this path of healing and you've done it in a very brave way because your shadow, your walk through hell has been um, really brutal. Um, and a lot of you, not all of you, so um, a lot of you have chosen to take on weight um, of karma, if you will, generational baggage, um, collective baggage for some of you, basically things that weren't yours to carry. Um, you've carried them, and you've carried them a long way. Now, many of you now have the ability to transmute a lot of this energy. And you are all at different places on this journey. Some of you guys have been transmuting your personal stuff. And what you don't realize, listen to me as I say this, what you don't realize is that you're kind of a generator of transmutation. And as you transmute this within your own personal space, your own personal life, you're actually a huge transmuter for the collective. Okay. All right. You need to like get comfortable with this. You need to like, just take a deep breath. I feel like many of you have had the feeling that you do this. This is a gift. It's a spiritual gift. Okay. It's an ability. Not everybody has this ability. Um, and it's not, it, it's, it's for the brave. Okay. It, it, it takes a lot of bravery to do this. Okay. It takes a lot of bravery, skill, intelligence. 
emotional intelligence, focus. It's the way of, you could say, like a warrior monk, if you will. Okay. Um, and a lot of you, I'm hearing, I'm seeing the word, and I'm hearing the word alchemy, your alchemist. All right. Tell me more about this. I'm really being pulled to the black and white here. The yin and the yang in this card. And then the stripes. See how it's striped here? There's stripes of uh, black and white there. I feel like you really have learned so much about criticism, about self-criticism. And I feel like you don't realize how that has created within you a force of compassion. You have become someone that is, not all of you are here, but you're moving towards it if you're not. You've become a lot less judgmental of others. And you're also becoming a lot less judgmental of yourself. You may not realize this, but as you stop judging yourself so harshly, you heal people around you. People watch you do this. It's very hard to function in our environment here in this reality when you hate the skin you're in. It's very difficult when you don't like the authentic self that you are. It's very difficult. And I feel like for many of you, this personal hell has really been a hero's journey of you finding out who you are and becoming very comfortable with who that is so that you can apply this triumphant victory of becoming who you are and doing that thing that makes you uniquely you out loud so that others can be inspired to do their thing out loud as well. And in that, you are united with them. You are vibing with them. We are individual and we are one. And we affect each other when we do these kind of things. When you raise your frequency, you raise the frequency of others. It's just like, one drop of water in the ocean affects other drops of water in the ocean. You know, it's kind of the way it goes. My new chair is squeaky, you guys. So, all right, let's get some tarot here. Let's see, I'm going to get, oh, well, these wanted to come out, so we're going to take them. We have the Six of Swords. We have temperance, we have strength, we have the chariot, and we have the page of pentacles. So good news. There's good news coming your way. And it feels like it's going to be a very healing energy. There's a lot of healing here. And, you know, you've had doubts on this journey. There are times I feel like you have felt completely alone and isolated. It's, it feels like as you move forward on this journey, it, it's not as if the slate is completely clean here. We are human. And there are issues still coming forward with you. But it is a new day. It feels like you have moved, you have ascended from the dirt road to the cobblestone road. And some of you have ascended from the cobblestone road to the brick road. And some of you guys have further ascended. Some of you guys are on a golden road, 
okay? It just depends on where you are on your journey. But there's definitely energy here with this gem. I keep getting drawn to this of an ascension energy. And then we have, we have the chariot here. And I'm going to tell you, I feel the energy of Apollo very strongly. Um, sun energy, even though this isn't the sun card. But look at that mighty Apollo energy, which I feel very much the underworld energy here as well. Like, cause I'm, I'm being drawn to the myth of, uh, Hades and Persephone. And it feels like that's exactly what's happening is you have been in the underworld. You've been in the shadow. You've been fighting your demons, your monsters, whatever label you want to put on the issues you've been dealing with in the thickness, in the sludge, in the swamp that has been the void in your heart, in your mind. See all of this? Yes, the parasites, the pests, the overthinking, all these things. And it's like the reading isn't really focusing on this because there's movement here. There's a burst of light coming. Okay. There's a burst of light and I feel it coming into the crown. I want you to connect with this card. There's a burst of light. I feel a crown chakra activation coming for the group that watches this video. Okay. Doesn't matter when you watch it. A crown chakra activation coming in. Um, for this group, if you align with this reading, I'm seeing it here in this card as well. See the hand, see the hand. I feel like this, this ascension energy, this ascension and a descension of a, of a blessing of a divine blessing within your crown. Um, for many of you, again, we have a highlight here of the crown as well. Um, and I got to tell you, I feel, see, f these are wings, but I'm feeling these as, as uh, wisdom, as serpent energy, as a blessing of wisdom, a blessing of knowledge. Okay. A blessing of spirit. For some of you guys, your, your psychic abilities are going to really pick up for some of you guys, your connection to your spirits, like your God form is going to get so much more like tangible. You're going to have more synchronicities. You're going to have more um, signs that are not just numbers and songs, but like real manifestations. Some of you get ready. If you, now this won't be for all of you. Okay. And I, I, I just want to tell you if you, um, if you do magic, some of you guys are going to have like some physical like manifestations of your magic. And I'm not just talking your manifestations manifesting. I'm talking about like orbs, things like that. Like when you're actually doing your magic, you may start to see some odd things. Um, if you have any kind of paranormal equipment, you might want to start putting it on, turning it on when you're doing your workings. Okay. Um, I feel like this is a blessing uh, coming through for those of you watching this video and resonating with this energy, okay? And it's a blessing because there's a clearing here. Because much like Persephone, you have been in the underworld. And I feel like many of you basically have, well, you took his head. That's what I'm seeing. Like you took his head and escaped from the underworld, but you didn't escape. You ascended, you ascended out of the underworld. You flew, you flew like a Phoenix out of the underworld. And I feel like for a lot of you spring, it's going to be very important. See, I feel like there's been a shift. And I feel like for a lot of people, what, what was going to happen for them in fall 
has failed to manifest because of, of a shift, an energetic shift that had to happen um, because there was a realignment of a manifestation. Perhaps there was a spell that was cast, a new spell or a different kind of spell, or there was a change in a manifestation. And it feels like the alignment is higher, of a higher vibration. Um, it's more aligned with your, your heart calling. I'm not going to call it your life purpose, okay? This isn't the Sims. This is your soul calling. This is what makes you vibrate at a high frequency. It's what makes you feel alive, okay? This is real. This is real heart, soul, happy fulfillment, okay? This is what makes your crown light up. And I, I just, I feel like you are the gem. And I feel like also the gem is in within your crown as well. Like there is, um, like your third eye is going to become very active. I'm feeling ascension energy is what I'm seeing here. Like I'm, I'm feeling like ascension energy for you guys. I want to pull a few more cards here. Um, let's pull from the archetype. Tell me more about this ascension energy that I'm feeling. What else do you want them to know about this ascension? You may start dreaming about this. Some of you guys may be having dreams right now that you don't understand. You may be seeing a lot of bright light in your dreams. You may be feeling a lot of, um, like, in life right now, you may be feeling a lot of, like, I don't want to say low vibe, but you may just be struggling, like, physically. But at night when you're asleep, you may be seeing a lot of, like, dreaming of a lot of bright light or feeling a lot of light energy and it may be very confusing understand that for several reasons there were adjustments made to this timeline okay i'm just going to talk at a higher frequency for those of you who are there with me uh, there were adjustments made to this timeline the self the pilgrim <laughs> so <laughs> There was further healing that had to be done to, um, for a certain group of people to further advance this collective because um, there were some changes that were made and um, there was a, I'm choosing my words very carefully, um, There were some breaches attempted, and uh, because that was the case, um, there were some further adjustments made. And because of that now, um, we see that Father Time, Saturn, has gone direct, okay, um, and time is folding. It's folding very orderly now. Uh, for the last little while it's been doing a very strange thing and many of you guys have noticed the timeline's been skipping around it's been feeling weird uh the time has just felt off for a while and you guys have felt it speed up slow down skip around it's been real annoying um and many of us have been haven't been able to figure out what's going on um, and the mechanism of it really isn't important um but there was a need to realign this space okay so that's what happened and um so now we're in this situation that we're in and understand that when timelines fold okay so you have okay let's just all right time is not linear okay but let's just let's just look at it that way okay so you have time is Okay, so I drew this little thing out, all right? <laughs> okay, so first of all, I want to start here. Okay, so basically this is kind of like normal time. For the sake of this channeled message, we're going to say this straight line is normal time. But normal time really is 
stacked. Okay, time is stacked. So you can look at it as time stacked like books, one on top of another, and all time is now, or they're stacked like this or like this, however you want to look at it. For the sake of this argument, though, it's not really an argument, it's a channel message, but you get what I'm saying. All time is now. All time is now. Okay, normal time. Normal time. Saturn retrograde. This was time during Saturn retrograde. We all felt this. Like sometimes it felt like time sped up. Sometimes it felt like it slowed down. Sometimes we found ourselves thinking about the past, lots of reflection, lots of double thinking, what we were doing, uh, really questioning our alignments and things like that. Um, and it was tough. Sometimes we went all the way around back <laughs> and still we kind of paused and it was a lot of deep thought. All right. Now Saturn's direct. Okay. And this is what's going on now. Okay. Normal time. This is what's going on right now. The timeline is doing this. See how close I try to get it really close, but I don't know if you can see it. Time is doing this, this thing, this kind of ribboning, ribboning, ribboning <laughs> effect okay new timeline right here boom and so what's happening is is we're seeing all of these like very weird once in a lifetime kind of generational things happen a lot because they are the high points the important points the pivot points whatever you want to call them in these timelines meeting up okay now, Saturn is now direct, so a lot of this chaotic energy has spun out. So this is going to become much more smoother, okay? A lot more smoother. And you might start to feel that, okay? Because there's another timeline emerging. So we're working out the chaos, okay? And... um so that's kind of the vision of what I'm seeing is happening with the timeline. So there's a lot of unusual things happening now. Um, a lot of things that raise a lot of fear for people. And that is why, because of what's happened, okay, because of, how, how can I say this? Because of what's going on, okay, we're just going to leave it at that. There's been some reconfigurations. <laughs> And that is what's going on with that Saturn Direct. Okay, that's a reconfiguration. So there's further interesting things that will be revealed. Okay, they will be unusual. Um, they will cause you to question things in a very deep and meaningful way. Okay, um, a lot of people will begin to question the reality um, and will be pivoting on what's important. Okay. We're coming together as a collective. We are going to find our meaning and our purpose within the human collective. We're growing up as a species on this planet. Okay. And that's where we come to the self and the pilgrim. Okay. Cause I'm, I'm feeling this is like, see the pearl here. We have another gem. Okay. Seeing the gem within the self seeing the pearl within the self here. And I feel like the pilgrim goes out among the collective and connects, goes out among the collective. And um, with this radiating heart, see now I'm seeing the heart chakra activation. So we have a crown chakra and a heart chakra activation going on. The crown is first, the third eye, and then the heart. Um, and it really opens up a place within us of Thanksgiving. In America, we have Thanksgiving coming up. And honestly, um, I have a lot of issues with this holiday. Okay. Um, I, it's, for me, it's an indigenous human day. Um, we should be really looking at it as that. Um, but it is a time that I look upon to give um, gratitude for blessings and things like that. And I feel like there's a lot of energy um, building around the power of gratitude because um, there's been research on this. It's very hard to hold energy of negativity in a space of gratitude. And I know it's very difficult in the world we live in 
right now to hold the space of gratitude and that's why it's so powerful. So I feel like these activations are going on to help certain people within the collective get to a place where they can hold certain kinds of energies because you are a engine of transmutation. Okay, so if you can hold the space of gratitude, if you can hold the space of peace within your own life uh, during certain times, you generate that energy for the collective. So, honey, you're important. You have purpose. You matter. Your life matters. Your your pain matters, your victory matters. Don't ever doubt that. Don't ever doubt that, you know, there's no reason for your being. There's no reason for, for what you've been through. There's no reason. There is. There is. There is a lot of love for you. You're very loved. Many of you are still learning how to connect with that love. But it's very important that you do because this source of love is abundant. It's not limited. And frankly, it's not human. Okay? It's something beyond human. That's why it's so hard for us to comprehend. This level of love is not to be comprehended. It's to be experienced. And different practices, different religions, different mystical practices have different names for it. But the one thing I can tell you when you experience it, it will forever change you because it is not human. It's a very mystical and soulful experience. And it fills you with a light that has a frequency. And you can hear it. And I feel like when I hear certain bells, um, bells and, um, yeah, bells. I'm seeing gongs as well. They make these certain frequencies. So um, you might uh, find listening to some uh, crystal bowls, crystal bowl frequency music helpful. Uh, for these incoming activations, okay? Um, I will tell you, for those of you who um, who resonate with this reading, um, the crown chakra, you will know, okay? You won't guess. You'll get a vision. You'll get, you'll get a vision of your crown with full of light. It will be holographic light or golden light or white light, but your crown will, like, explode with light, there will be no doubt about there will be no doubt about if it happened or not okay this is not something that will be hidden from you or you won't have access to or anything like that okay you will know it's just like when your third eye uh, goes to the next level you will know you will know some of you guys will have a new guide come in and um for some of you, I feel like a connection to Raphael is coming through. Archangel Raphael, okay? Um, he's been very present um, in this reading. I just wanted you guys to know that. Um, so if you're drawn to Raphael, Archangel Raphael, you might go connect with him or, or check out his energy because um, that might be helpful as well. So, and I'm feeling the energies pull back. So. Okay, guys, that's what I received for today. I hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more high vibe daily oracles, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye, guys.